Podcasting from her kitchen table, it's Jacqueline Jay, here with another episode of Cast Iron Skillet Chronicles, where we focus on faith, family, fun, and finance for my fierce, fly, and fabulous sisters over 40. Come on in the kitchen. Coffee's brewing. Pull up a chair. And girl, let's talk. Now, here is your host for Cast Iron Skillet Chronicles, Jacqueline J. Welcome back to the kitchen. So the question of the day is, why are you fighting? Now, you may be thinking to yourself, who, me? I'm not fighting anything. If you have not taken the first step toward doing what God has called you to do, uh, you are most certainly fighting. Fighting against walking in your God-given greatness. Fighting against all you can be and what he has called you to be. Fighting with those internal and external voices that are so filled with negativity that are all around us. So stop, stop fighting who you are. Stop fighting what God has called you to be. Stop fighting and be real. Everything starts in the mind. Romans 12 and two tells us not to be conformed to this world, but be transformed by what? The renewing of your mind. Philippians 4 and 8 tells us to think on those things that are true, honorable, pure, lovely, and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. As you think on those things, the negativity will fade away. Now, that does not mean that negative things won't happen, but it's your response to them and whether you allow your mind to dwell on them that will, be de- that will be the determining factor. That may also mean distancing yourself from some people for a period of time until you can get to the point to where their words don't get to you to throw you off course. That may also mean limiting your TV watching time. I had to stop watching the news altogether. I was watching one night and I tell you what, The first 10 to 15 minutes of that broadcast was nothing but negativity. I had to cut it off right then and there. God has already given you everything you need. Everything you want is an inside job. The question is, are you ready to embrace it and receive it and manifest it? Or are you just going to continue to talk about it? Are you going to walk the walk or just talk the talk? No one outside of you can think or feel for you. So what are you going to do with that? Do you talk to yourself positively on a regular basis? If not, start now. Say to yourself, I am whole. I am perfect. I am strong. I am enough. I am happy. Even if you're not particularly feeling that way at the moment, have faith that as you speak the words, you will begin to feel the feelings. The Bible also talks to us quite often about our thoughts and words. Romans 10, 10 says, for with the heart, one believes and is justified and with the mouth, one confesses and is saved. Mark 11:23 says, "Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done for him." Hebrews 11:11, 11, 11, one of my favorites, says, "Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen." And Proverbs 18 and 21 says, life and death are in the power of the tongue. So I'll leave you with this today from Proverbs 23, 7. 
As a man thinketh, so is he. Everything starts in the mind. Until next time, stay safe, be well, be kind to others, be kind to yourself, and be blessed. Bye now.